This rematch against Varum and Prince of Persia the Lost Crown is probably the longest fight in the game besides the final boss. Do you agree? Well, we here at Direct got the perfect guy to take down Mr. Prince, so let's get started. Mr. Prince. As with all our boss guides, we go over how to actually counter each move of said boss, then show you a full playthrough. Let's get started with some basics. Now, Mr. Prince here is very fast, so your first couple of rounds, especially on higher difficulties, are going to feel like it's very random, but we got you covered. The absolute best advice to give you right now at the very beginning of this video is to be on your toes and always be moving around a lot, jumping, sliding, doing two hit combos, all that stuff, then backing off to keep yourself alive until you get used to this type of fight. If you hear Varum say something along the lines of stop, halt, etc., those type of lines, along with his eyes quickly turning red, then a time bubble will appear around him. If you're moving around like I recommended beforehand, most of the time you're not gonna get caught in this and you can simply wait for it to go away. If you happen to get caught, however, then the best thing to do is to try and slide no matter what action you are currently doing. It will eventually get you out slash away from some of the damage. If you do get hit, however, though, don't panic. Maybe try to block or parry something or jump out of the way after he's gotten his first hit on you. In the beginning, he has a basic two hit combo. Well, not really a two hit. It's more like a multi slice attack that he does twice. This will evolve as the battle goes on, so best to get used to dodging it or parrying it if you are really good. Another variant of it is when he does a two multi slice attack, then does a spinning jump attack like you see here. Get used to sliding either away or under him to avoid this. It'll help a lot later on. When he says the line, bear witness and gets on one knee, he will summon an area of an effect bubble that will slice and dice if you get caught. When he teleports above you, he will swing his sword towards the ground, making a slash. After this, he'll teleport back down to the ground and do a spin attack. If you are away from him from the start, like say he goes for the clone, then you are fine. If he targets you, however, though, make sure to slide away right as he's about to slash towards the ground and then jump right away as the spin attack will be coming right afterwards. Final move he has is a basic ground slash move. Just simply jump over it and don't worry if it hits the clone slash younger version of you. Speaking of your younger self, while the younger you will do a tad bit of damage in the beginning, he gets knocked out pretty early on, especially after you get about a third of the health down on Varum. So don't rely on it too much and just get ready for the second half. Speaking of the next part, you know what that means, it's time for some upgrades. And oh boy, there are a lot. Yeah, all those moves from beforehand, every single one here gets an upgrade. On top of that, he has a couple of extra new moves that are added to his arsenal. One of them being the ability to rewind time backwards a bit. Now he does regain a bit of health when doing this, but if you dodge and hit him afterwards, it'll be like nothing happened. How do you dodge, you might be asking? Well, when the rewind is complete, almost all the time, Varen will be in the middle of his spinning jump move. So simply slide in a direction, under him is best, to avoid the attack. Then you can counter him as you will. Will he get caught? Maybe, but the more you practice this, the easier it will become. The second new move is his multi-slash attack that cuts the air. Basically, you need to thread the needle here and not be touching the line when it activates. The two easiest ways to dodge this is to place a time clone in a spot that you know is safe or jump at the right time right as it activates. If you don't, you'll get hit by a cinematic attack. Other than that, every move from the first round has gotten an upgrade. The slice bubble? Well, now there's three of them, so simply jump over and dash to the side to get away from them. Midair slash with a spin move at the end? Now it's two slashes before he returns to the ground. Also, he will fake you out quite a bit by teleporting around you, then back to the ground, then back up before finally doing his first slash attack. Sometimes at least. Is knowing time bubble from the beginning? Well, it's simply bigger now. When you get to one third of his final health, he will power up again, powering up some of those moves just like beforehand. Slice bubble is now five, time bubble is even bigger now, and the midair slash becomes three before the spin move. This can feel like a long fight, especially with that rewind ability, but the more you get used to his quick moves, the faster it will actually go. Keep up the attacks until you finally take him down. Now, here's a full run of the boss fight sped up a tad to show you how to take him down. If you enjoy the guides, then a like on the video shows us that you enjoy this type of content. And of course, don't forget to check out the other Prince of Persia of the Lost Crown boss guides and more in the top right corner and pinned comment for other guides and videos that we put out almost every day. I've been Talon with Direct Gaming. Thank you so much for joining us in the video. I hope you have a great day and week, and we'll see you all in the next one. Johnny.
Stop! <laughs> 